Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but um, the tour links that you have for the tour browser, yeah, it's all right being um, privacy conscious and setting up your computer correctly and all that. I'm not going to go over all that in this video. This is just basically about your tour links, your URLs basically. It doesn't have to be specifically for the tour browser. You can actually also use this for normal clear web um, links. But yeah, I've got an example here of just, it's called ABC, and then we've got some links in here. Nothing nefarious or anything. We've got no um, tour links anyway in here. Couldn't be bothered to find them, but I've just got some normal links, which we'll use for this demonstration. Now you can pretend they're dot onion tour links as well. That's fine. This is really what the video is about anyway. And basically what do you do with the tour links? Um, when you want to save them really because you can't bookmark them like on the normal browser and that and they can also give away what you actually go on what you view you know so a good thing that I personally do is I set up environment variables along with a um, personal script that makes it easy and quick to um, decrypt the file with all my links in it prints it to the console and then I can just scroll through Whatever, whatever link I'm looking for, I can grab, copy it, paste it into the browser and go from there. And all I have to do is clear the console, maybe reset it and just exit. And it's as easy as that. And it will also um, automatically encrypt that file with the links again. So I don't even need to worry about encrypting, decrypting. Or, I just, you know, environment variable does everything for me, which I'll go through now. <clears throat> and give you a little show. So I'm using CYG Win for Windows, which is like a Linux type terminal. Which I suggest if you're on um, Windows, you get because using PowerShell for this is um, no good really. You know, it doesn't actually run the Python script, it just prints out the full um, script like Python and then it prints out the um, directory as well as the options doesn't let you actually run it whereas this does and you can do this on Linux as well but yeah basically what I do is I will just do dollar sign I just do lol which is the environment variable this will decrypt the list print it to the um, console and then it automatically encrypt it for me so I don't need to worry but as we can see, these are already these aren't encrypted at the minute. So to set a password, I've got low E, which will encrypt. So I do low E, and then I choose a password. So I just do password one two three. Press enter. Okay, all is well. We'll exit that. Have a look at ABC now. As we can see, it's all encrypted. So now, if I want to use this, it's all I have to do is this dollar sign low. Password one two three. Press enter, and it's printed out all the links that I want to use that I don't want anyone else to know about or see, and it's automatically encrypted it again for me. And it is literally as easy as that when I want to use links. And all I have to do to get rid of it is just to clear. Usually I'll do a reset, and if I'm not using it, I'll just exit. Like that. And that's it, simple. Now, the reason I've not just got LOL, which will um, decrypt it, print it to the console and encrypt it, I've also got LOL E and LOL D. Reason being, LOL E, you need to um, use LOL E, you need to encrypt the file first because you need to set a um, key, you need to set the encryption password slash key first of all, so that's that. And also LOL D is useful because if you want to change your password, then obviously de decrypting it and then encrypting it straight away won't work. So if you use lol d for me as my environment variable name, lol d, if I decrypt the folder, file, I mean, if I decrypt it, so dollar sign lol d, password one, two, three, <clears throat> it prints it out to the console because it always prints it out if it decrypts it. And then if we go to here, lol, as you can see it's decrypted now so now I've used lol d to decrypt it I can set a new password by just doing dollar sign lol e and we'll just say new password one two three we'll exit that now 
see if it's encrypted and now it's encrypted again with the new password you know maybe the password is not safe you think you need to change it etc so you do the encryption and then when you want to use it it's simple it's just doing dollar sign lol and then just type in the password and there we go we have it again and you can just select whichever url that you want to use and paste it into a tool browser just a simple clear is gone and files are encrypted now if there's a um, error in the encryption or decryption it lets you know so if you um, accidentally do get an error for whatever reason you don't think that you're safe and that your your links are actually still are encrypted it will let you know basically so that you can sort it out or fix it you know because that, that would be one of the worst things wouldn't it if police kicked down your door and you thought your files were encrypted your links were encrypted and they weren't <laughs> so yeah now i set up the environment variables by pressing the um windows key and then the pause break key which brings up this system control panel on windows on linux you just have to google um set environment variable i think it's like set export equals and then um the key to a value or whatever i'll put um, a slide up quick for linux people anyway but for windows yeah advanced system settings environment variable then we've got user system now system variables what i'm using as we can see here we've got variable low value is the python then the full path of, to the script and then we've got dash o for options now we've got d for decrypt and then e for ecrypt so decrypt it print to the console and then it will encrypt, encrypt it and then we've got dash k which is the key password then we so when we just do low it will basically run it'll do that whole command here python full path all the options so then we do a space and then we just set the key password for dash k same for low d exactly the same python full path to the script and then we've got to set the option dash o d for decrypt slash k which is the key password so when we do low d space we're actually at the end of dash k space and then we're setting the key password so we can do low d and the same for the encrypt as well so that's what we do when you set the system variables on windows and that when you set them you press ok you do okay and then before you um try it on your um da -da -da console you actually want to exit the console and then restart it again so that it, um the environment variables will actually work i'm going to quickly run through powershell and show you the difference and why you sh you can still use it for windows powershell and i do recommend it because it's a lot quicker you know instead of having to cd to where the script is and run it like that it is quicker so we'll go through that right now so we're on the um powershell now this is the difference you do a dollar sign you do emv and then the colon then we'll just we'll do a low d you have to press enter and it will print out python d full path to the script and then the options yeah what you have to do now is just copy that copy it paste it so control c control v and then you can press space and then you can type the password in like that now it's not as quick as obviously the linux console type for windows or on linux but it is a lot quicker than having to cd into d drive and then ls look for where the the folder is cd into that folder cd into that folder etc so it is still quicker to just do dollar sign emv colon and then low whatever you want to do wherever, wherever it's um the decrypt encrypt so low normal usage or low d to decrypt uh low e you know does that you can just select it control c control v nice and easy to be honest so yeah now we'll dive into the code a little bit i'm only going to go through it slightly i'll leave it in the description so that you can use it or you can edit it go through it make your own so on and so forth 
yeah. It's a little bit of a hack job, but it's not actually too much of a hack job because it does the job. It does what it says on the tin, you know, it's, it's nice and easy. And it works really well, so yeah. As you can see here, we've got arg parser. These are the arguments. This is how we set the arguments. So the dash zero for the options. The uh, dash k for the key slash password. And we've got dash f, which is the file name. Now the file name is actually got a default. So you're going to want to set your own um, default to whatever your um, text document for your URL list is at. You're going to want to edit the default list, the default path to your own list. Because we don't actually use dash f because this script is really based on um, just that one file and using it with the environment variables so that's basically why I just set it to a default there's we are we don't really want to be having to do dash f dash k all that we just want it to be quick easy and um, yeah so here we've got the um, encryption class Okay, we've got block size which is of 16 because um, the data has to be in block sizes of 16, otherwise it won't, it doesn't work properly. So we've got the file name which takes from the args parser, which is this function here, arg parser and then dot file name, as in file name here. Cool. Right, the key. We are wrapping the key up in SHA-256, yeah, we're encoding UTF-8 and we're doing digest of 32, we're just taking the first 32, we're taking the first 32 um, bytes, um, 32 characters or whatever, off that SHA-256, yeah, because obviously we're going, it's going along in the 16s here, we, we couldn't have it in, uh, we couldn't have the password being um, say 10 or 3 or whatever we can set the password what we want then we'll just encode it in SHA-256 and then we'll just take the first 32 and we'll use that so that's fine that work that works well we've got self.pad and self.unpad reason being is because we need to pad the data so it's in multiples of 16 and we also need to unpad the data as well so yeah we've got self.pad we're using just a lambda, which is um, like a throwaway function, you could say. We've got s, and then we've got s, so we've got plus, right? This is the um, sort of algorithm, basically. We've got self dot block size underscore block size, which is the 16. Take away length, and then s, which is going to be the date, which is the data, and then we've got modular self dot block underscore size. So this calculation gives us a number. And then we do times, then char. Char will give us a um, character from a number because obviously the computer reads characters as numbers, basically. So char and then this number here from this calculation will give us a character. And then we'll use that character to pad the data. And then what we do is... We take, we're taking, as you can see here, if we just jump a little bit forward from, from here, if we jump a little bit forward in this unpad, yeah, if we forget about this for a minute, we just go to S, which is the data, and then we've got the um, bracket, so we are indexing that data, we're doing the length of S, so the full length, and then we just do minus one, so we're going to the end of the data, minus one, and then we're taking the end character, so the, basically the very end character, and then whatever that end character is, we're doing ORD on it. So basically ORD is the opposite of char. Yeah, that character, that CHR. Char on a number will give us a character. We use that character to pad the data. And then when we want to unpad it, we grab the end character on the data because the end character must be part of the padding anyway. So then we grab that end character and then we do ORD so that we actually get the number back. So now we're getting the number back, and from getting that number back, we have just got we've just got this back then, because that's the calculation that gives us the number. We turn it into a character. We pad the data. We then do ORD on that number to get the uh, on that character to get the number back, 
and then we uh, know how much to unpad it by basically so that is how we do that that's how we do the padding and the unpadding <clears throat> and then it's just pretty simple from there really we've got read file which is reading the file data equals f dot read then we've got text self dot pad data so we just pad the data easy peasy for the text we return that to write the file because we're going to read and write we're reading and writing a lot when you encrypt decrypt we've got open we just open the file w and then we just do f dot write and then x yeah easy enough and then we've got the encrypt which will just encrypt the data and then we've got decrypt which will decrypt it we've got print b so we're printing out the um unencrypted data now when we encrypt and decrypt we're using the iv and um we're encoding it also in base64 and decoding it as well which is useful and then we've got a little uh little function here outside of the class which is encrypt and decrypt the encrypt uh, creates a um, instance of that class e and then it encrypts and the same for decrypt creates an instance of the class and decrypts it then we've got our main function our main function is um, we've got crypta which is starting the args parser.crypta which if we have a look up here, crypta is the options. So we're starting off with the options. And then, it's, then we try if crypta, so if the options is E, encrypt. And then we've got exception in case it fails so that you can sort it out and not sit there thinking your links are safe and encrypted when they're not. And then we've got if crypta is equal to D, it will decrypt another exception and then we got if crypto is equal to de it will decrypt and then encrypt so that is basically the main nice and easy yeah the, the de the decrypt and encrypt makes it really fast because you only have to just run that environment variable and the password and you get you get it printed to the console you can use it it's, it's very quick very easy and very safe and then we just got your normal if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore and then just main so yeah that's it i only went through the code quickly because i didn't want it to be a long video and it's it's not a lot of code you're more than welcome to ask any questions in the comment section i was really only making the video to show you how i um use my tour links and how i encrypt them and that because I don't think I've ever heard anyone talk about like the links themselves. I know people talk about Tor Browser a lot, the computer, you know, how you should run OS Tails, which I recommend you do. If you can, get a cheap laptop, take the hard drive out so there's actually no um, place for any data or fingerprints to be on, etc. etc. There's a lot you can do, but the actual links themselves, yeah. I don't know it's quite awkward you know you can't remember them they're quite annoying <laughs> so this that's for me that's quite an easy way you know print to the console clear it encrypts automatically la 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 cool 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 so yeah that's the end of the video this um code is going to be on my github page as always link will be in the description as always um don't forget to subscribe and um going to make a video on the next chapter of that binary exploitation very soon the next coming days hopefully stick around for that and i'll see you in the next video goodbye